Good morning, everyone. So, um, can, you all, can you hear me at the back? Um, first of all, welcome to the ICTP. Um, welcome back. There's many people I can see uh, visiting again. But many, it's nice to see some new faces around. Um, and welcome to the conference. I'm just going to spend a few minutes um, talking about the ICTP, the Institute itself, so that uh, we, I'm hoping during the course of the week, those of you that are not so familiar with it will familiarize yourself with some of the things we do. Um, because it, we're not just a research institute, as I will um, show you. So the, we're actually in our 60th anniversary year, and um, this conference is one of our 60th anniversary sort of flagship uh, events. We don't normally host such big uh, conferences here at the ICTP, only for sort of special reasons. Um, it was founded in 1964 by Abdus Salam, who you know got the Nobel Prize together with Weinberg and Glashoff for the discovery of the for the invention, let's say, of the standard model of particle physics. And the, the unique thing about it is that um, we combine high-level research together with a mission for capacity development and the fostering of science in the global south. And the institute is governed by the Italian government, UNESCO, and the International Atomic Energy Agency, although most of the funding comes from Italy. Broadly speaking, what we do here um, can be streamed into three categories, research, education, and outreach. So I'll tell you just briefly a little bit about each of those. These are the main research sections at the ICTP. Um, this com the conference that we're at this week um, is, com is jointly organized by high energy physics and mathematics, naturally, because uh, we have studying string theory in the high energy group, and uh, um, there's an interface with our, some of our mathematicians. But, you know, there's a condensed matter group. Uh, we, we study different aspects of the Earth, the physics of the Earth, um, the quantitative life sciences group, and an innovation group. In terms of research, you know, the ICTP has been um, involved in several, for example, Nobel Prize winning um, aspects of research. So, uh, now move on to education. These are the sort of uh, education, main educational programs that we have. We have joint PhD. We're, we're a re since we're not a university, we don't have about degrees, but we have strong collaborations with neighboring institutions. So, uh, CESA um, being one of them, and the University of Trieste being another. Um, there's also collaborations with University of Udine. There, these are the various programs that you could learn about whilst you're here. Our main, let's say, educational program is what's called the Postgraduate Diploma that um, um, has been running since 1991 and is only for students from developing countries um, that obviously get selected and they're fully funded um, and, but it's only for students from developing countries in which there's no comparable program. And we have pro such, we, we have diploma programs in high energy physics, mathematics, mm -hmm. condensed matter, and earth systems physics. Um, and this is a crucial program which enables students from uh, many developing countries to go on towards PhD programs. 
we have a significant number of trading activities going on um, um, of various kinds. So there's around 60 to 70 happening um, every year. Here's some numbers um, and some distributional data. This is probably a couple of years old now, but um, it hasn't changed much. But one key thing is that ICTP supports scientists throughout their entire career, starting from the diploma program and then going on uh, sort of diploma and master's programs, PhD, after um, uh, scientists, you know, if, after scientists return to their home country or to another country, um, we support them throughout their careers, um, through our associates program and uh, related programs. So associates of the ICTP are scientists working in a developing country um, that, uh, and this, this associates program enables them to come every year for six years or so um, and Uh, scientific research, uh, sorry, scientific outreach. Um, we have the Office of External Activities, which supports um, different kinds of activities and networks around the world. In the last uh, 10, 10 or so years, we've, the ICTP has developed partner institutes. So some of you will know the one in Brazil. South American Institute for Fundamental Research, or the one in Rwanda, the East African Institute for Fundamental Research. Um, those are going very well. Um, there's a program called Physics Without Frontiers that I helped found and I run together with uh, a few colleagues. And there's the science, uh, Scientific Dissemination Unit. Since I run the Physics Without Frontiers program, just to give you an idea of some of the things that we do. You know, last year, we organized 18 projects, actually 30 or so um, events in many different countries, which I don't know if you can actually read any of this, but the, well, there's the LATAM project. Daniel, who runs that, is here. Um, so we have projects in Nepal, Cameroon, Rwanda, Bhutan, Ecuador, Kurdistan, um, Afghanistan, Colombia, Ghana, Lesotho, Zimbabwe, another project in Ecuador, and a project in Kenya. So these are actually mostly volunteer-led programs, so if anyone's interested in uh, getting involved, please let me know during um, the course of the week. Um, I'll skip that. Um, also in terms of kind of more regular outreach, we have, you know, distinguished lecture programs, um, the Salaam lectures taking place every year. This is just to show um, that our support does does lead to some, some real success stories. So some of you will know Freddy Cacciazzo. So he was a diploma student here in the 90s. Um, and similarly, uh, Narayan here was also. Um, Zora has been an ICTP associate for many years. Um, and another success story. Um, so I'll finish with a couple of testimonials and then mention a couple of things about the conference. You can uh, read here a testimonial from Stephen. Another one from David Gross.
then the conference, um, which we're here for. So, as you will have seen, we've got a very nice program of talks and uh, poster sessions as well. Um, I want to mention that the, the conference, apart from the ICTP and apart from uh, those of you that have paid registration fees, um, is uh, sponsored also by CESA, our neighboring institute, um, the INFN, which is the uh, National Institute for Nuclear Physics, and um, IGAP, which is um, the Institute for Geometry and Physics, which is also here and is a joint venture between ICTP and CESA. And then I want to mention, in particular, um, the co-organizers of the meeting. So, uh, Claudio Arezzo, who's in the maths section, Francesco Benini from CESA, who's here, uh, and Yeze Bisi, my colleague in the high energy group here at the ICTP, who's there. Giulio Bonelli from CESA, uh, probably here somewhere. Lothar Gersha from the maths section. Uh, Pavel Putrov, who is jointly maths and uh, high energy. I saw him, he's around. Uh, Alessandro Tanzini, who's also, there he is. Uh, and Don Zagier, who's a visitor in the maths section, oh, uh, visiting professor in the maths section. Um, anything else that I need to mention about the conference or organization? Um, well, we'll, as we, at the end of the week, we will um, mention all of the staff that have been involved in the organization of this meeting, which is a significant number of staff. We have something like 240 registered participants here, and everyone has to be processed in some way administratively, so that um, our administrative colleagues have been helping with that. Um, but we will thank them at the end. Um, so with that out of the way, um, please do take time to familiarize yourself a bit with the ICTP whilst you're here. And there's a lot of information on the website. Talk, you can talk to people. Um, I would much rather people come and learn something about the Institute as well as participate in the conference rather than just come to a conference and then go home without learning anything about the Institute. Um, so with that out of the way, I'm going to hand it over... Do you, do you want to say anything, Francesco? No. So with that out of the way, I'm going to hand it over. We'll, we can actually begin the conference, and uh, I'm going to hand it over to Ron Donaghy, who's going to chair the first session. Yes, yes, yes. 